so today i'm going to be talking to our dear brothers i've been talking to the sisters most of the time so hello brother brother yes i know you have proposed to this sister and she said no or you have probably proposed to like three four sisters and then they all turned you down because they came telling you that you are not the will of god for them they came with the with a story that please god has not revealed anything to me you came saying that god has revealed you to me and you are my wife and this and that, that, that. but they are also saying that they've not seen anything god has not revealed you to them and for that matter you cannot be together what it simply means is that bros or brother i am paving the way for a better person to come into your life i am paving the way for the right woman to come into your life it is not about you getting angry and getting so agitated that you want to destroy the sister's life. That you go about spreading falsehood about the sister. Oh, she, she, she's materialistic. Oh, she's calm now. Oh, she loves rich people. Oh, she's this. <laughs> what she is saying is that the will of God that you want is not me but somebody that God is preparing for you. There was one time when I was doing my service, there was a sister I was, um, she, we completed and then, you know, so this lady, oh, in church, she dresses, covers her hair, looks like a good sister, but she was so disrespectful, so dishonest, so she was not a loyal girl, you know, and there was this good guy do very great brother that was working hard for the lord and was a very hard working person was so in love with this sister and this sister said no to him this brother cried and was like my world is finished and my this is so i was just looking at this brother say you have no idea you, you have hey bros if if you know whom this sister is you would thank your stars i never told the brother or the hey be thankful that this sister if you say when i heard that you are taking the lady to to court um to, to to mc i was like yay god save this brother from this woman and thanks be to god this sister said no to him oh he came crying olivia this is i said brother just thank god maybe god was like, no, 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 god. I said, hey i think a year after that this brother witnessed the same sister insult one pastor from head to toe like this the head the, the insult the lady gave to not like an insult like um a, a, a nice way you just give you don't have sense how dare you call me and talk to me the, you know that kind of <laughs> hey the brother called me so only now god has saved me from something i didn't know i said yes god really saved you you know so if you don't understand what god has installed for you you will think that the sister who said no to you is you know you have lost a jewel all the brothers i ever witnessed who had no's from ladies today they are married and they are thanking their god that they are they are married to this very woman you, you get what I'm saying? So brothers, when a sister turns, turns, um, turns down on you, when a sister say no, don't go and then be praying that something bad will happen to the sister or some, uh, the sister will get married. What you wish, sometimes some brothers, you hear them talking, like, hey, as I proposed to her and then she refused, she let her went to get married, she, she let her go marry. And if and then that man, if, if you see how the marriage went and if you see what, 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 and if you, and like you are happy, like the person is testifying to you that because she rejected him, the lady is facing an issue. The lady is this. The lady... No, bro. It's, <laughs> it's not because of you. It's not because of you. You are not the best person for her. It's not because of you she's going what she's going through in her marriage. It is bound to happen and you are lucky you didn't marry her. If not, you would have been going through the same thing. So, it is not like um, she said no to me. She may never get a good man. And some brothers even come and tell you that I am the one to take you to heaven. Like, how dare you? What about God? What is God doing in her life? If you are the one to take her to, to heaven, after you didn't marry her, is she not leaving? Will she make it to hell? No. So, I just want to advise brothers that when a sister turns down your proposal, it is not a fight. It is not for you to go and fast and pray that evil things will befall her. It is not for you to be so angry and so agitated that you wish 
that she died. There was one sister who called me and said, Oli, you remember that brother I said no to? I said, uh, what happened? So this brother called me, oh, and then was just saying a whole lot of things that uh, I would die, the evil things I'm doing if I don't stop. He had a dream about me, and what were they doing? And it was so, Oli, I am so afraid. I do not even know what to say. And I'm like, so you allow the guy express all the negative things into your life and you did not rebuke that? You just allowed him to, to, to pronounce those things out of his mouth into your life? You know, that is not the right thing to do. Give me this guy's number. How dare he? I took the guy's number and I called him, hello, I am a friend to this, this, that. You called my friend and you said this, this, this. Hey, I had a dream. I said, hey, stop. You see? This life, if you think bad about somebody, it will happen to you. Well, because she said no to you, you have thought so evil about her that you even dreamt about it. That you are so wishing that she would die, that this will happen to her. Oh, look, if you hear what the, the, the guy said about things to this sister, you will cry. I said, it will not happen. It will not work. I rebuke every negative thing you said concerning this sister's life. And after rebuking everything, I told, I told him that if he doesn't forgive the sister, if he doesn't forgive himself, and if he doesn't repent, the evil things that were also before him, he will not believe it. And that was how I ended the call. And later time, he called me back and said, oh, sister, thank you very much for talking to me. I think I was, I hadn't forgiven her for what she did. I said, forgive, for, you know. It, it's, it's it's what it is. She said, no, that is it. Continue with your life and pray to God. Another better person will come and the person you will meet in life will still be the best for you. Thank you, brothers, for listening to me and God bless you. Bye.